occurred, the 23rd of October 2021, 21 hours 45 minutes and 0 seconds local location, Crown Point, IN, USA shape, other duration, 4 seconds no of observers, 1 characteristics, aura or haze around object seen a roughly 10 by 10 V-shaped object flying across me. It was roughly 300 to 500 feet off the ground. It lasted about 4 seconds. Each side had four elonaged ovals that were translucent. I was trying to process what I was looking at in those four seconds. It happened so fast. I lost it once it went on the other side of the house. It was a reflection, a pack of duck, lighting or drones. It was something I've never seen before. The translucent part had me losing my mind. Occurred the 19th of June 2003 22 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds local location East Chicago IN USA shape light duration 5 men no of observers 4 characteristics lights on object light starts and stops in the sky I was outside walking my dogs and happened to look up at the sky as I kept starring I noticed what seemed to be a shooting star but this shooting star was stopping and going it then changed its course from south to north, to west to east for about two seconds. Then went from south to north again. It kept its course till it disappeared into the horizon. Occurred, the 17th of August 2006, 20 hours 45 minutes and 0 seconds local location. East Chicago, IN, USA shape. Changing duration, 7 minus 10 minutes no of observers two characteristics. Emitted other objects saw a falling fireball that divided into three fireballs and then stay still in a oval shape and had no sound. We saw a falling fireball coming downwards, then it divided into three fireballs and they stopped moving momentarily. The objects appeared oval shaped when still and we they continue to move sideways, they appeared as fireballs again. Another fireball appeared and did the same routine as the other set of objects. The objects didn't make any sound because it was a quiet night. Then they all vanished and didn't appear again. The color of the objects are bright yellow. The objects seem to be over Gary, Indiana near Klein Avenue and Chicago Avenue. There could possibly be more witnesses on this event due to cars driving near the area. Occurred the 14th of March 2020 14 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds local location. East Chicago, IN, USA shape, cylinder duration, 1 minute no of observers, 20 characteristics, lights on object this object was seen headed north from the southern tip of Lake Michigan in the city of East Chicago, Indiana. It was about 2 p.m. Central Time when I sawed it heading straight north while I was on the beach with my friends. It looked like a black bullet. This was observed on a bright but semi-cloudy day but this object was very visible and distinct. I have also witnessed with a friend some orange lit object 3 on each side in a wing formation near Gary Airport close to the first sighting. That was in around Feb 2012. That was seen at night. Occurred, the 1st of June 1973, 13 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds local location, Gary, Indiana, USA shape, cigar duration, 20 minutes no of observers, 4 characteristics, emitted other objects possible abduction black cigar shaped craft with smalls craft rising up to the bottom of it those craft seemed to come and go my grandfather and i witnessed what we thought was a ufo over lake michigan just north of gary indian i was stationary and had several smaller craft coming and going from the underside of the craft it remained long enough for my grandfather to step into a dime store and purchase a small video camera he filmed the craft for several minutes the film has been lost However, it has always puzzled me as to what it actually was. Could have been part of an air show stunt involving a blimp launching small planes? I just thought it was unusual enough to mention, just to see if there were any reports from other people. I'm not solid on the date it was the early 1970s and it was a clear bright day. We witnessed it from the small hot dog stand that my grandparents ran at the time. Occurred, the 15th of June 1986, 3 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds local location, Gary, Indiana, USA shape, other duration, 30 sex no of observers, 1 I saw an alien face-to-face -face true darn story. 
In 1986 in Gary, Indiana I had left my wife and moved in with a buddy at work, he had the ground floor, I had the basement which was fixed up like an apartment kitchen bathroom bedroom private entrance etc. After being there a few weeks, I began to feel as though I was being watched but I kind of shrugged it off. This would occur every few days I'd catch a glimpse of something moving in the corner of my eye and look and nothing would be there. Oh well, I must be tripping, I'd say to myself. Now I must describe my room for your benefit of later events. It was pretty big 27 feet by 40 feet and I had a king-sized waterbed with a headboard with shelves in it about 4 feet high, you know the one, everyone's got it, full of padded rails and all. In the headboard on a shelf was a gold three-cylinder bank, one cylinder for quarters, one for dimes and one for nickels, welded together but each cylinder was at different level and the bank stood about a foot tall. Well, you get the idea. Anyway, one night I was sleeping and all of a sudden, I just woke up. I was lying on my left side close to the right side of the bed, and when I woke suddenly, standing in my view was a three feet tall creature. Its appearance was smooth, its color was white, I mean true white, there was no hair anywhere, it had big black bug eyes, no mouth, no slit nothing, a hump where a nose should be, no ears, it was just standing there at the side of my bed, looking at that darn bank, as if it had never seen anything like it, I guess it hadn't, I said out loud, what the, g-r-a-b-e-d my pillow, some weapon huh, and tried to hit it over the head with all my might, but my hand and pillow, went right through it, causing me to hit my hand on the bed, almost breaking my wrist. Excuse me if I'm shouting, but, now at this time it noticed I was there. It turned its head very slowly to the left and down taking its gaze off the gold bank, it was amazed at, to look at me, dead at me. Now the next part took about 10 seconds to occur, it was now looking at me, it slowly tilted its head to the left as in C-U-R-I-O-U-S-I-T-Y and I heard it say, in my mind. Why are you trying to hurt me? And then with head still tilted, it very slowly faded away and was gone, phew. Now mind you at the time I first saw it I was terrified, but when it looks at me and talked to me in my mind, I had a very strong feeling of peace and then once it was gone I was scared again. I was 26 then, I am 42 now, and I've never seen it again, at the time I told the girl I was with about it and when she'd spend the night, she'd wake me up fighting something in her sleep, this had never happened before. Also, after that I couldn't see it anymore but I could feel when it was in the room with me, I could sense it in my mind. I also told my roommate, name deleted, about it and asked him if anyone had ever died in that house and he said his brother died there when he was an infant. But, what I saw was, no darn baby, not a human one anyway, anyway I moved not more than a month later because it was always that feeling in that basement. I've told everyone that would listen about that ever since, and, I still feel it around to this day, and I now live in North Carolina. What the hell is that about? Please understand this. What if the point I awoke was when they were putting me back in bed oh ah what if something was, for lack of a better word, installed on me and I'm being tracked. Oh ah what if I had not p-a-n-i-c-e-d and would have said, hello I am, name of alleged alien deleted. Welcome, maybe it would have shared something with me, instead i-t-r-y-e-d to kill it and it went away. What do you all think? This freaks me out just talking about it, it gives me the creeps. And for the full skeptics and non-believers, I swear this happened to me on my very soul and mind body and spirit if it didn't A-C-U-R-E may I die today. Occurred. The 15th of June 1986, 23 hours 30 minutes and 0 seconds local location, Gary, Indiana, USA shape, unknown duration. 1 or 2 minutes no of observers. 4 characteristics. Electrical or magnetic effects a lime green light throughout the whole house and the air stone surged with power throwing water two feet in the air. ATTN. Peter Davenport on or about 16 years ago, during the summer, my husband and I had returned home at 11 p.m., maybe even a little later. We noticed that our home lit up in this lime green light, like FLLOD lights were on in the house. In our living room we had a fish tank, and the air stone surged in power and was throwing the water as high as two feet, out of the tank. Then when the light stopped the air stone went back to normal. We had thought the high lines might have been struck, but when we asked the electric company, they said no. I asked different people, linemen, supervisors, etc. Walked and they all said it had nothing to do with the lines. This happened outside Gary, Indiana in a single dwelling. Inside was my husband and I, my 30-year-old daughter who was taking care of a two-and-a-half-year-old boy, and my 16-year-old daughter. My 30-year-old daughter can confirm this. Please keep this confidential, like we talked about. Name. Add to your records only. I feel this should be noted that this happened, so if someone else this has happened to knows that they are not alone. NUFORC note. 
time and date are approximate. We have assigned an arbitrary date in June 1986. PD, 